so I come to a part two. Speaking about uh, the gospel and church states. And so what I want to also uh, speak about is um, speaking of why isn't there a plan of care uh, medical uh, within the Christian community as much as they have church to four or six times a week and, and all the tearing and, and speaking in tongues but there is nothing to represent the care that the Christian apostolics um, Pentecostal you know um, even Church of God in Christ is to receive and this, this is where this has to be placed into question um, if you ask me um, I'm Protestant because I'm a protest <laughs> okay now what you said me okay you take stuff from what the really means protest Protestant okay I'm gonna be an aunt at protesting um it is this is really ridiculous really ridiculous uh, you raise your children in church, you raise them in gospel, and then when it comes to the basics of our life, you're just totally clueless. Um, the pastors, they spend more time, like I say, talking about who crossed water and, and um, Solomon and Gomorrah getting destroyed and, and tithes and offering and, and so forth like that. Uh, but you're not covering anything on health care. What is the standard health care? There are churches that are working more to teach about healthy eating, but still, when you, if, as you being a pastor, you used to get Ebola and your members or whoever is your uh, power of attorney, who, what is the standard? Where is it? Why aren't they preaching that on, on Sunday? Because if, if for all these decades and centuries you've been going to church, and what are you progressing in? What is the community progressing in when you usually have a dope house? either across the street or down the street from a church. Not a dough hop. You have a load of them. Okay. And they ain't none of my business. Uh, I ain't making no big deal out of it. You know, let let it be what it is. I'm just saying what it is. Um, you're talking about you prophesizing and, 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 and God telling you and sending you he, he got to send you a little bit more organized to impress me, really. Um, and the fact that we don't know how medical care be in a situation um, that I, I, I extremely learned face, I mean, head on with my own situation. Um, I've discussed it on um, radio shows. We're at a Christian hospital. The same slave book that the you know they have these organizations such as the Ku Klux Klan and the uh, these pedophile organizations are recognized Christian organizations. Okay, then you have the black churches um, that are within the church community that are still out this same book by these other malice and immoral organizations. Uh, and, and, you know, they'll be quick, a sister or what you call these, uh, God, how do you describe these people? They'll get there and tell you something being as a black person but won't open their mouth to a white person and become humble. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. You know, they'll be like that to them, but they're never going to get there and give a response barely if any at all of defense of what they want to preach to you what a bible scripture mean or how you need to be abiding by the bible then that needs to be thrown out there um and so those of you that have been raised in the church know i to talk about definitely outreach you know definitely outreach i'm sure we could share plenty of stories you know some some that had it worse than others um, you know, as I, I, I study and stuff like that, I, I knew I, I didn't have it the worst, but just the part of having it bad make it worse anyway. Um, you know, some things I didn't have worse as others, and some things was just like, oh my goodness, you just missed out on 
um, the knowledge and, and the family um, investment. Um, you know, th things that you had more petty focuses than you did stuff that seriously needed to be dealt with. Um, invested in, you know, in your church rearing. You know, you, you get taught how you need to be a good person, but really you're not shown how you're supposed to be receiving the good, especially if you're not that favorite person. They don't feel it for you. They do it for who they want to do it for. So then that's when you really learn exactly how people are. You have to accept it. You, you get there and you hope, okay, well, maybe there's a phase. Maybe people will come together and they're going to say, okay, we're all supposed to get there and respect each other. We're all supposed to be for improving ourselves. This study. And it's like they only teach certain people to be good people. And then certain people they have is the, uh, the, the mediators, the overseer, the people that's okay to be bigoty type of people. Um, then you have the, the outcast one. You know, you, you just have all this stuff. It's like, oh. It's like, okay, the time you take doing this, you can get there and try to maintain the world, be in a better place. All that energy you spend twisting up stuff like a pretzel. I mean, crumbling stuff down. Just making non solutions. All the pettiness and stuff like that. It's like, is it really? Life don't have to be that hard. It really don't. And so definitely in summarizing this video, speaking about um, gospel community, you, how much, how many of you all spoke out, especially up front? I mean, Young Jeezy was out there in the front. Um, Talib Kweli. I mean, most of the secular people was out there when issues go hand on hand. It's like y'all don't be knowing nothing, but y'all get all his prophecy. You all don't respond nothing, but you're still advertising your concerts. Along with those that have a baby every season, you need to be the main one out there, which you, you know, but then when something happens, y'all, y'all want everybody to get there and get involved with it, um, and, 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 you know, feel sorry, understand this and that. Like, you all should be the main one, as much fruitfulness y'all do, and you're still black. And not every white cop that stops you is going to know, um, you know, Yo, go get it up and all that kind of stuff like that. And in the morning and, and seeing the best in you. You know. And even with this, um, the issue with the, the Talika Patrick matter. Okay. Still, with that, with that matter, okay, they have a... One thing, none of y'all better not be in no scandal. That's what I'm saying directly because all y'all was absent. You have the, you know, maybe you think the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's, and that's why you ain't saying that you believe the Lord's gonna speak later. Y'all late on everything. Y'all finally got there and did a song, and you know, uh, you, you finally did a song with, with, when the Haiti stuff happened. But you're late for everything. But God so tell you stuff and call you, and you want people to listen to you and put money up in your bucket and, and buy your stuff. Just like, oh God, y'all just, y'all, y'all gotta forget it. Y'all the reason why your own selves behind. After you do all that petty nagging and stuff like that, you get there and, and, and come into reality. Cause that, just too unrealistic from what I've seen, I've observed. And definitely, you learn who your friends are in time of, in time of war. And this time we saw all the celebrities. Who shown themselves off, you know, even in the midst of Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, you know, being whatever spider web they are, um, they they came even, but you know, it may not have been the best, but even the other celebrities, you know, within the gospel industry, I mean, when Marvin got, uh, you know, attacked, you know, maybe they did say, I, I, I ain't seen nothing. They ain't come out and say nothing. They, they should have been out there on the front line. I, I, you know, God protect y'all. No weapon formed against y'all. Y'all should have been out there. Um, shows you got people out there, and then, you know, you mean, if you can have Amnesty International coming out there as peace people coming out there with pen and paper, and, and God so called, no weapon formed against y'all. Y'all should have been there on the front line with some protective gear. Uh, it definitely been handing out protective gear. Uh, y'all should have been advocating. Is it, it, moving as your voice is. I mean, gosh, if we get that buying your record and then move us, 
Well, Chef, well, why you can't get the move toward making a better treatment toward us as a people? I mean, are you saying that mu music to keep us as slaves? Come on, answer. I, I, I sure hope that you catch this video. So, speaking on the gospel in church state. 